Hi YouTubers and watchers everywhere, it's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around I want to talk to you about aftershaves. Aftershave splashes, aftershave balms. Which one is best for you? Well, I've gone up to a lot of wet shaving formulas just to kind of surf around and read what they're all talking about there. And inevitably I've come across threads where guys who are coming to the wet shaving routine are having trouble with irritation from an aftershave splash, alcohol-based aftershave splash. And they want to know, what should they do? Should they stick with the balm? Should they continue to try to use the splash? And really the advice that a lot of members give them is that you should use what works best for you. Use what does not irritate your skin. And I get the impression a lot of guys want to use an aftershave splash with a little bit of alcohol in it. Now, I want to share with you what I did when I came back to the wet shaving routine. For years, I used an electric razor. I mean, years ago, I tried to do the wet shave. I didn't get proper instruction in it. After a while, I abandoned it, and I went to an electric razor. All these years later, I came back to it, and thanks to YouTube, I was able to find a lot of great videos, a lot of great information on the internet, showing me the proper routine uh, for the wet shave. Also, joining some forums like Badger and Blade, helped a great deal so that I could kind of refine my technique and really understand the process. Here's what I did. For the first months, I would say anywhere from two, four, six months, something like that, I can't remember the time frame, but a good long time, all I did was use an aftershave balm, alcohol free. I figured that since I was dry shaving all those years, that my skin, my face needed some moisturizing and needed some nutrients to kind of, um, kind of help it become accustomed and attuned to the wet shaving routine. Now, the first one I used came from The Art of Shaving, their uh, sandalwood uh, aftershave balm. And it was, it was good, it's a little bit pricey, you can check the price on Amazon, I'll have a link to it. It's not bad, it did a very, very nice job. But after using this, I wanted to move to the next level or find something else that maybe was a little more agreeable. I found this one by Neutrogena, now they don't make this, in this form. They do make another formula that contains some sunscreen, so you get um, dual purpose to it. But this was very, very good. Again, alcohol-free, like the Art of Shaving product, and it didn't irritate my skin, and it really helped moisturize my skin, and it really did calm my skin after the wet shave routine. So that one was very, very good. Then I found this one. This one was very good. Bulldog. Bulldog. This was a great uh, aftershave balm. This was really, really very, very good. Problem is, it's a little bit on the pricey side. So uh, I've used this, I got another tube left, and I use it sparingly because of that. Came across this product here. Now these are post-shave balms. This one you can find in your local drugstore, uh, maybe even a grocery store, that's where I find this. You can find this online. Nivea Men. This is for sensitive skin. This is a very, very good product. Um, Post-shave balm, sensitive formula. They have it in two different flavors. They have it in their regular and also in, in a cooling uh, post-shave balm. These are really wonderful and they're very affordable. Five, six bucks, something like that. And uh, it goes a good long way. I like these a lot. They're very, very good. Uh, post shave balms and they do a terrific job uh, moisturizing the skin. Now you you probably let's say you probably want to get into an aftershave splash. What do you do? Well with me it just took a while to kind of build up to the aftershave splash, the alcohol based aftershave splash. That's just the way it was. That's that's how it worked out. Um, but there were some intermediary steps that I took. One was the uh, Pacific Shaving Company's Aftershave Balm, it has caffeine in it. And the one thing nice about caffeine, uh, or so they say, is that it constricts uh, blood vessels. So if you have any little nicks or something like this from the shave uh, that you just had, this will help close them off. So that's almost like a first step towards an aftershave splash, alcohol-based aftershave splash, without having the alcohol in it. Your skin starts to react to some good stuff that helps to 
you know, close off those little micro abrasions. That was really, really very good. Next one that I came across was um, the Shaveology. Uh, they're two in one. This one was also uh, another one that uh, has some good stuff in it for your skin. It's alcohol free. My understanding is it's alcohol free, but it has that little bit of a little bit, I don't want to say pinch, but a little bit of an edge. So it feels like an alcohol based aftershave, but it's not. And it does pretty much the same thing that the Pacific Shave Aftershave Balm does. This one also was very good. The next one that I came across that really helped bridge the gap for me was uh, Viking's Blade. Viking's Blade Forest Frost. Um, this stuff has alcohol in it, but it also has some really nice moisturizing in it, moisturizers in it and a lot of good stuff for your skin. So really what you're doing is you're using an al alcohol-based aftershave balm. So that's one step below using an aftershave splash. That's how I looked at it. And I, I like this a lot. And you put maybe four or five squirts in your hand and you're good to go. So it really takes care of all those micro abrasions and little cuts and that sort of thing that you might get post-shave. That's really very, very, very good. There's another aftershave balm that is alcohol free if you have sensitive skin. I forgot to mention, this is a very good one, Parasso. Sensitive skin aftershave balm. Really, really very, very good. I like this a lot also. It's again, it's alcohol free. So I guess what I'm saying is, is I use an aftershave balm, alcohol free, and then I got closer and closer and closer to using an aftershave balm, had a little bit of alcohol in it, and then I was able to really consistently make the move to using an aftershave splash without having any, you know, negative reactions to it or any negative effects. I really look forward to it now. So now I get to use some really, really nice aftershave splashes like um, Panad. Panad is really very, very good. Comes in two sizes. Comes in this 12 and a half fluid ounce bottle. Also comes in this six fluid ounce bottle. This stuff is great. Has a great, great scent. It's old barbershop scent. I like it a lot. Also, you can get uh, Parasso. Parasso Green has a great menthol uh, scent to it. And this really feels good on the skin. I mean, it really, I've had some shades. Maybe you've seen a, a video I, I did recently where, wow, the menthol just really just wakes up your face. If you wanna, if you're on a budget and you just wanna try something that has alcohol base, you can go with the original Skin Bracer. This is not bad, it's not bad at all. And uh, I don't think the alcohol in it, in the alcohol content in this is too terribly high. I could be wrong, but um, I never had any negative uh, reaction to it. But again, uh, I was doing my homework, so to speak, taking my time, letting my face become accustomed to the wet shave routine. And that took several months to, uh, to really get to the point where I could start using an aftershave splash without really having to worry and actually have it work for me. Um, the other couple things you might wanna do is you might wanna use Thayer's Witch Hazel. Now this is alcohol-free formula. So you can see, I only barely see it right there. It's, the label covers, covers it up. It's alcohol-free toner, alcohol-free formula. But you can get this, uh, their aloe vera formula, which is alcohol-free. But be careful because they also make one that it contains alcohol. So this one contains alcohol, this one doesn't. So you gotta read the label. So uh, again, a lot of guys like to use this one alcohol-based as an aftershave. And uh, some guys use this that's alcohol-free and they get a similar result to it. So that's something else to keep in mind. And that's really uh, all I wanted to say uh, other than I uh, wanted to mention uh, Avon Wild Country. This is new old stock. This is very, very similar to uh, the Panade in scent. So I'm able to use this, and this is my kind of my routine after a shave. I use this and I follow it up with Avon's Wild Country After Shave Balm, especially in winter. Uh, I'll use either the Avon After Shave Balm or Panade because it's similar in scent, and then I'll follow up with the balm to moisturize my skin. If I uh, don't want to do that one-two move, uh, I'll use the Vikings Blade 
Forest Frost. But again, because it has alcohol in it, but it also has some nice moisturizers. So I'm killing two birds with one stone with it, which is why I really, really like this product a lot. Also, if you're just beginning and you find yourself maybe nicking or cutting yourself, you're, th you're thinking that you know an, an alcohol aftershave splash will help close that off, and maybe that's causing some problems, you'll want to get an alum block. An alum block will help close up all, all some of those nicks and cuts. This one came from Art of Shaving, and all it is is just looks like this. You wet it, and then you run that over your little nick or cut, and it closes it up. And um, does a nice job uh, of doing that. Really very, very effective. Just be aware that wait a little while before you apply a balm because if you apply, apply a balm too soon, it'll just moisturize that area and open it up again. You'll, you'll, <laughs> your nick will start flowing with a little bit of blood again. I also have uh, one of these Allen blocks in a travel size from Razor Rock. Um, and it's this size here. So it comes in a little travel case. And so if you're out on the road, this is always also very good to have. So that's just kind of it, wrapping it up, just talking about aftershave splashes, aftershave balms, uh, some do's and don'ts. Again, my routine was, coming back to the wet shave, uh, wet shave uh, traditional wet shaving, was to just use an aftershave balm after every shave for uh, a period of, uh, you know, a few months uh, to even a little bit longer than that. And then gradually moving into an alcohol-based aftershave. I felt that my skin then had absorbed enough moisture and nutrients and that sort of thing to where um, aftershave splash with alcohol in it becomes a little more tolerable. Your mileage may vary. There are some guys out there who recommend that you don't even use an alcohol-based uh, aftershave. Well, again, Whatever works for you is what you should do. If you don't want to use an alcohol-based aftershave splash, that's fine. If you feel that an aftershave balm is good for you, great. If you use an alcohol-based aftershave splash all the time and nothing else and it works for you, that's great too. This is what I did and maybe if you're a little conflicted or having a little trouble you know, make, using some of these products, maybe what I did will help you uh, along the way as you um, uh, pursue the traditional wet shave because really it is a terrific way to get a morning shave and as they say if you're not enjoying your shave in the morning you're doing it wrong and anybody who does the traditional wet shave really they really really do enjoy this way of shaving it really is a terrific way to get a shave in the morning and start the day off right all right hey thanks very much that's all I wanted to say thank you very much for subscribing I really appreciate it it looks like I've achieved my goal of a thousand subscribers I'm above that and I'm really, really grateful for all of you who have passed my name around and shared this channel. And uh, really, really very, very grateful for that. So I can keep moving forward with the channel. Please continue to share these videos. And I encourage you to please, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe right now. Please, uh, please encourage others to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very, very much. Don't forget to visit my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comics of George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Comment below, let me know, and I'll see you again real soon.